Oh, wait. I'll have to edit this later. So that's us. So um, we'll just go straight into it. Welcome back to the Sports Babble um, with me, Philly. I'm a good new mate now, Joe Buchanan from the Craig Avon Cowboys. Say hello, Joe. Hello, how's it going? Um, he's kindly agreed to sit down and have a chat with me about the Craig Avon Cowboys and American football in Ireland. So basically, Joe, yourself, what what what's your what position do you play, or what are you tied down to position, or? Um, I would play mostly linebacker. Um, or yeah, sort of anywhere else really, where, wherever I'm needed really. Yeah. Um, sort of ethos of the team, you just play where you're needed. Um, but mostly linebacker, yeah. If um, I should start with this question actually. If anybody doesn't know Craig Avon Cowboys, what's the story with them? When did they start? And yeah, so Craig Avon Cowboys. Initially formed in 1986, mm -hmm. um, one of the founding members of the league. So there was no formal American Football League in Ireland until 1986. Um, and Craig and Cowboys were formed then and won the first Shamrock Bowl, which is the equivalent of the Super Bowl. Um, <clears throat> then kind of they kind of built on from there, uh, won the Shamrock Bowl again in 1990 and then 1992. So three national titles to our name. Um, then at the end of the nineties, the league kind of disbanded, and but due to funding or what? It or? was uh, to be honest, I don't really know. I think it was maybe quite political. Um, what was happening? Because oh, <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't involved. Politics and Irish sport. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? Yeah, um, I was only five at the time. Oh, fair like, so I had no idea what was going on. Yep. But uh, I think the league then reformed in the early two thousands. The Cowboys reformed in 2005, um, initially as a flag team, so that's a bit like tag rugby, non-contact. Yep. Um, then developed into what was called DV8, so it's eight side football, so the DV is development. Um, I won the DV8 title in 2009, which then meant we got promoted back to the 11 side league, um, where we've been playing ever since. Um, and then... From 2009, really, the way it works has always has kind of changed quite a lot. So now there's three tiers, um, okay. three different leagues. So there's a Shamrock Bowl Conference, which is the top one. There's IAFL 1, which we're currently in. And then there's IAFL 2, which is like a development league. Um, but it's still 11 aside. It's for new teams, isn't it? It's for Primarily for new teams, yeah. <coughs> They'll stay there for one, two, maybe three years. And then they sh they'll automatically go up, if even if they don't win the bowl. Some teams are just pushed up, um, because that's really how it should be used. Okay. And how are you getting on this year then? And and I I it was it AFL. I A F L. I A F L. So the Irish American Football League. Oh right, okay, right. Um, so we're top. Um, we won seven games, lost one. Um, Tight one that was. The, the, the one there, the one that we lost was by a point, and it was uh, quite controversial. We'll oh we're, dear. The referees were quite controversial. <coughs> right. But we're not, anyway, we're not, getting, <laughs> we're not getting in trouble in your um, first interview. Yeah, so we're top. Uh, we're playing this Sunday in our playoff game. Lovely. Um, so it's basically like a semi final. So we win this, we're into the bowl game, um, which is I guess like, a, like the Super Bowl. Um, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we win on Sunday. Um, we've already beat this team twice in the league this, this year. The Wexford Eagles. Wexford Eagles, and um, we've beat them twice now. So, not taking anything for granted. No. Um, but quietly, quietly confident. Um, a couple of guys come back from injury as well, which would be huge. So, yeah, big game on Sunday. And you're just going through. I was down watching the lads do their walkthrough tonight. So you're going through different plays and stuff, and you're all sort of getting tuned in. Yeah. It's quite interesting, actually. Um, and. You, what what sort of well, what got you into American football? Um, I guess when I, I when I was about fourteen, I think it was uh, just a few mates of mine were into the NFL, mm -hmm. um, watching it on TV, especially when on on Sky. Um, just started watching it really and really liked it. Um, but it was only fourteen, so couldn't play contact football or kitted football with the, the helmet and shoulder pads. So I actually started playing flag. Um. We had our own team in Jamore, um, named the Jamore Warho Warhawks. Oh, lovely! So, uh, <laughs> never knew, I never knew that. Actually, played the Cowboys a couple of times, um, and usually beat them. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> when, when I was eighteen, moved over then to the Cowboys yeah. to play kitted. Um, but I guess what what really what I lo loved about it was just the contact element of it. Um, I used to play rugby 
quite a lot for school. Um, and you know, rugby is very physical, but there's not as much. It's not as complex as American football. Like there's a lot more thinking I think goes into American football. Um, so that's what I really liked about it, and I, I guess why I sort of dropped off from rugby and kept up in American football. Nice. Um, <clears throat> just you were saying about you being a sort of a utility man and the ethos of the team. Mm-hmm. If you um like if you're watching some NFL documentaries and you hear players, NFL players talking, they'll talk about even like LeBron James of basketball was talking that he played. Uh, American football at high school, and he was an offense, and he never once talked to defense. But I was watching you tonight, and he's all mingle and all, yeah. and everyone gets along. Everybody sort of knows, and he's even mixing up players, are changing different positions, yeah. changing offline and stuff, and different things. So there's obviously a big, massive camaraderie in that there, and everybody sort of knows everybody's role in it. The Cowboys that yeah. way. And would you find that? <clears throat> would you be one of the bigger teams in in Ireland, or would you be one of the smaller teams? What would it? In terms of squad size, in terms of squad size, yeah. um, our squad size, it kind of varies. So, our squad size is about twenty five at the moment, and that's sort of in the middle. Um, but you know, American football, there's so many injuries, and even somebody breaks a finger, they still have to come out for a couple of players to tape it up. So somebody has to be able to go in them couple of players and know what they're doing. So I guess that's why we mix it up um, so much, so that everybody, if you're thrown into a position that you're not used to you still have an idea you still have an idea of, what's going on of what's going on yeah like what routes or whatever or if you're having to run an offense or if you're in defense who you need to cover or yeah. what needs to be done nice and you would have tactic sessions in yeah <coughs> we would run you know like before training we'd do video reviews um, and just talk about you know watching video watching what we did wrong and um, talking through it before we go out on the field you know I, I feel like that helps a lot if you see yourself making that mistake yeah. Rather than somebody telling you you've made a mistake, you'd be like, mm, I didn't do that. Well, you know, you're on tape, you can't deny it. Yeah. Um, and it's just an honest way of learning. Um, so we, we would do, you know, video reviews. Um, at the start of the season, in our preseason, we'd have we'd have our different schemes. So for offense and defense, which you'd have to sit down and talk through usually, you know, like PowerPoints and whatnot. So it gets quite, you know, for an amateur game, you still have to take it to quite a high level. Um. To, to be successful uh, and that, that's something that I've definitely seen in the past couple of years you know the bigger teams the, the more successful teams I suppose and, and the amount that they put in each week you know training during the week um, whereas the, the teams that aren't maybe so successful only train once a week and don't do video reviews or any of that so you have to try and take it to a professional level yeah. whilst remembering you know, everybody has a family. Nobody's getting paid. Nobody's getting paid. People still have to work. Mm-hmm. Um, I was trying to get that balance right, really. Um, the Belfast Trojans, I, I know a few boys that when I was living up in Belfast would play for them. They're, they're in the Shamrock Bowl League, aren't they? Have you played, come across them before and played against them? Yeah, we... Uh, so in <clears throat> 2011 or 2012, I think, was the last time we got pretty far in the Shamrock Bowl Conference. Uh, I wasn't playing, but from... What I remember, I think we beat them in a wild card playoff and got to the semi finals, and then I think we got beaten in the semi finals. But from then, they've they've been kind of dominant in the Shamrock Bowl. They won five in a row or four or five in a row there. Um, until last year, the Dublin Rebels won it. Okay. So they've been they've been kind of dominant in Ireland. And yeah, they're they're. It's just, I mean, I guess because they're in Belfast, they're such a big catchment area. Um, Is that uh, what you think the Cowboys find tough trying to recruit? Well, Craigavon's rel- it's relatively big too. Um, but something I think maybe that we struggle with is our. No, I've completely lost it now. <laughs> That's all right. The <coughs> well, how do you, how do you recruit? So our recruiting, so last year what we did was we had seven different recruitment days. Okay. Um, <clears throat> basically just open tryouts, so you come down, a bit like the NFL Combine, you come down, you do your 40-yard dash, you do your three-cone drill, you do the bench press and the jump, stand and jump. Lovely. And then from that, you would go into just different type, d- different position, positional drills. Yeah. From that, then we get a sense of where you'd be good at. Um, so we did seven of them. Uh, we did two in Portadown, then one in went round. So where were we? Like Armagh, Lurgan, 
Bambridge, Neary, and Dungannon. So most of the guys, you know, would have been to one or more than one of them, and then we'd start start our preseason there uh, at the start of January. So everybody gets invited to come back. So basically, then he just shows up from there. But basically, our, our recruitment's open all the time. Um, so if I say for me, I, I I really enjoyed that tonight, and I'm currently looking to play another sport. Like retired from playing soccer because I keep breaking ankles and yeah. pulling muscles and different things. So I, if I wanted to join, say it was me, I could come down and speak to one of you, and then we could get sorted. So it's, it's quite a, quite accessible. Then you don't don't turn yeah. people away, sort of a thing. You give them. Oh no, chance. I never never turn anybody away. Um, that's a, a big part of the Cowboys is you know everybody. Everybody is involved. Yeah. You know, you, if you come and you're willing to put the work in, you will, you know, you'll be involved. Mm -hmm. Um. Now there is we're in a period now where we can't really accept new players because well, it's play it's crunch time. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. So you have to you have to play two regular season games to be eligible. Yeah. So right now we're just focusing on our current squad, um, going into these playoffs and hopefully the bowl game. Um, but then after that we open it right back up. So you're talking maybe August to <clears throat> May June. You're you're free to join. Yeah. Um, and basically, you know, just drop a message on Facebook. Let us know you're coming. We'll bring a kit down for you, the helmet, shoulder pads, um, to loan to you. And it's as simple as that, really. Lovely. And <clears throat> in terms of um the bowl, if he's get there this year, we don't we don't want ten feet. Where is it played? Where is it sort of the home venue? Do you get it? Uh, or? Typically, it's Dublin. All oh, right. Okay. Somewhere in Dublin. And is it the the IAFL bowl and then it's the Shamrock bowl and the IFA, yeah. IAFL two bowl is all played on the same day. So it's a big the so the Shamrock bowl, it's it's obviously the main event. It's the Super Bowl of Ireland, um, and it would be it's played at Tallet Stadium in Dublin. Oh yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's the Shamrock. Shamrock Rovers, Rovers play there, yeah. <clears throat> um, and it's it's the the big event of the year, so it's played on its own. And um, then the IFL one and two bowls are played in the same day, the same location. Um, I'm not too sure where they are this year, but I think the date for them is the 20th of August. And is it is it a big thing? Like, is it a big sort of party and stuff? And oh yeah, it's a bit. It, usually, you know, it's like a family fun day. You know, yeah. everybody loves American football or kids or you know find it boring. So it's usually the stuff all the, the stuff get. all around. Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. Um, tell me, <clears throat> I have been down to watch the game, so I, I'll know. But some people that are watching this might know what what be the main differences between our. A regular NFL game and a regular IAFL game. What sort of uh, as an in the game? Like, is there um sort of is there much kicking done? Is there a field goal attempted? Obviously, because people's park there's the Gaelic net, so yeah, and uh, that's a wee bit different. Like, but what sort of what's the difference? In terms of the game itself, there's not really we we play by NCAA rules, which is the college football. Mm -hmm. Um, so we play by their <clears> rules, and it's pretty much the same. Um. You know, obviously it's a lot different because in college and but well, you go to college to play football for most people and to study. And then the NFL oh. you're getting paid to play, so that's your job. Yeah. So, you know, the athletic ability and the like the speed of everything and like the contact and everything is just so much better. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Better is like yeah. a wrong word, but uh well, these are full time yeah, athletes. Like, yeah, so, it's yeah. it's a lot. It'd be a lot tougher, but that's not to say you know I still hurt a lot after a game on a Sunday. Um, but that's not that's because I can't look after my body or go to the gym every hour of the day. So yeah. <laughs> um, you can't do ice baths and recovery sessions on no. jazz, no. But in, in terms of you know the schemes <clears> and the <throat> thinking that has to go into it, it's probably about the same. Do you have um? An offense coach and a defense coach and then a main coach, just the way they do in yeah. NFLs. You have, yeah, that's all in place. And so, stuff. with us, we'd have our head coach, who's Greg Lochran. Um, he's been with the Cowboys from the start in '86. Was he down tonight? He was. Yep, he was there. Um, this guy's been off work for a bit. <laughs> but, uh, Fair play, Greg. So he he was down, and then our offensive coordinator. See, most of our coaches are actually players, so I'd be our defensive coordinator. All right. Okay. And our offensive coordinator is Peter, who's Greg's son, and he's a quarterback. So we have positional coaches too, you know, for the line, um, corners and wide receivers. But again, they're players. So I guess maybe that's somewhere that we struggle in Ireland is, you know, there's not many Americans here. People grow up playing Gaelic rugby, soccer. Yeah. Um. So it's hard to get people with experience to coach unless you're playing. 
Um, but no, we definitely have the same sort of structure. You just don't see it in the sideline because we're mostly playing. Because <laughs> you're on shine yeah. and everyone, yeah. Yeah, we're you're a player kept. coach. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> what about yourself? Who do, who's it? Who's your team in the NFL? I support the New Orleans Saints. Oh, Drew Brees and the boys. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Have yeah. you been to any of their games or been? Uh, no, the only I've I haven't got to a game in the states yet, but I went to the Bucks and the Patriots. Um, a couple of years ago Hopefully in you Wembley. on the Bucks because everybody hates Patriots. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went in the Saints top like so it didn't make it there. All right, okay. <laughs> but um, I'm going this year to the Saints-Dolphins game. All in, right, in I'm, o- I'm over at the one in Twickenham. Um, it's just going out of my head who's playing. But I'm over at the one in Twickenham. Yeah, in it, should October. Be, it should be sick. Right? I'm looking forward to it. It's my first NFL game. Right. So yeah. I'm very excited. Like, um, Hopefully it's a good game. Uh, what else was I going to ask you? There's a couple of other things. Yes, the Cowboys... What what's the meaning? Are you just looking the crowd was to get back into that Shamrock Bowl conference, and that's where you think you should be, and just competing from there. That's the meaning. That's the last thing and goal. I mean, you know, we look back in the eighties there and the start of the nineties where we won three of them. Yeah. Um, we want to get. get we want to get back. That. Did you get a ring when you win. I don't think so. No, no. no. You get a medal. You yeah, get that's a medal. okay. I mean, if you want to get a ring made, I'm sure you can. <laughs> I think I would. <laughs> yeah. The best a big massive thing, you know, like Tom Brady has all those yeah. in one hand, like I'm walking around that and working stuff. It'll be, be classic. But <laughs> I don't know if you're in the Shamrock Bowl, but um, no, that would be that's the ultimate aim to get back up there and be be competitive and and win it again. Um, whether that'll be any time soon or not, who knows? Um, but we have to build on what we've got now, and we don't want to rush it. You don't want to rush it. And go too quick, and then no, you don't you, have a solid foundation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so that's really what we're focusing <clears> in now. I guess that's why we're in the league that we're in, and um, to build on that to get back to the Shamrock Bowl, and hopefully to be competitive and win it again. What you were talking about your flag team? Your flag team is quite successful. They've been they've done really well. Yeah. Um. So what is it? Are they in a conference? Are they? In a, what, what's the, what's the story with the flag football then? So the flag football. So actually, we we have two other teams in the Cowboys. We have our junior team. That's right. Um, so they're, yes. they're the sixteen to twenty year olds, and then we have our flag team, which is for males and females, age sixteen plus. Um. So the juniors they they were formed in twenty fourteen, and won the first two. So they won the twenty fourteen and twenty fifteen league. Nice. Um. And then the flag team have won won Emerald Bowl two in twenty sixteen. So, you know, them, them two teams, the flag team was started in 2014 too. So they've been successful since they've started. And they've really been a key addition to, well, initially the team, but now a club. Um, because, you know, we've a number of juniors now, I think we've 11 or 12 in the squad. And that's near half the squad who used to be a junior in the yeah. team, playing for our senior team, getting experience. As soon as they hit 18, ready to move up, they've one or two years experience behind them. So... We're really bearing the fruits, you know, it, it was tough at the start because your volunteer base is, you know, it was players coaching from the senior team, coaching the junior team, so the volunteer base is quite small, but now we're really bearing fruit of it and hopefully hopefully the juniors, they, they start up um, 30th of July if you want to play. These are? 30th of July in People's Park, um, the details will be on Facebook, but their season runs after the senior season, um, so it hasn't been much focus on them. Um, and in terms of the flag, yeah, the flag's been great because, again, our juniors can play, our seniors can play. It's very much more, you know, you work more on your technical ability and your speed because it takes the contact element out of it completely. completely. So, you know, your feet work, your reactions, that sort of stuff, it's really good for it. Um, and then women can play too. It's the only form of American football that women can play. Um, and that's something that we really want to, you know, encourage. Like we're obviously we like being successful but we're all about participation too um and growing the, the cowboy family yeah he's so, a bigger club obviously. yeah um we have we have two in the squad at the moment two ladies and but we obviously want to build on that next year um we just had we just struggled with it this year because it runs beside the senior season so sometimes you'd have a flag match on Saturday and then a kitted match on Sunday. And so it's, you're busted then yeah, on Sunday night. You're trying to watch Red Zone. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's tough. So, <clears throat> but that that's something we want to we want to build on. Um, and you know, for some guys, some some people don't like the contact. Um, yep. And, and that's fair enough. And, and flag's still a great way to to be involved um, and play football. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been quite successful. And and with the flag, we've been to the likes. We went to Copenhagen. Last year, and then we're just back from Vienna, playing in like the European Club Championship. Nice. Um, well, Let's get on. <laughs> we finished bottom in Copenhagen, but we finished 
One from bottom. Ah, it's an improvement. Yeah. You'll take yeah. it. That's it. We beat the Spanish. European stage. European stage. Spanish champions. So. Were you representing happy Ireland? Yeah. <laughs> You're happy. <laughs> <laughs> happy with a win. Yeah. See, yeah, you were representing Ireland there. Yeah. Take it. Yeah. Oh, all right. See, if you win, um, <clears throat> say, the Shamrock Bowl, do you go on and play? I, th- I was talking to a fellow from the Trojans and he mentioned that he In would the go Atlanta on. Atlanta Cup. Yes. Yeah, so it's like the amateur Western European Cup. So the winners from Ireland, oh, Luxembourg. Is Belgium and, one of them? Belgium and maybe, I can't remember the other one. But they all compete for the Atlantic Bowl. Um, and I guess that's probably the highest. Apart from playing for the international team, that'd be the highest level you can get to. There's an international team as well? Yeah, there's so the international team, they played uh, the Dutch, I think, last year. Um, I think they, were, they only beat like 20 nil, but it was the first game that they played, I think, formally, like ever. Um, don't quote me on that, though. I'm not, <laughs> not too good at remembering, but... Yeah, so there's there's the senior team have their uh there's a senior international team, a junior international team and there was a flag international team. So, but I'm not sure if they're still about. But yeah, no, it, it seems to be really coming on leaps and bounds now. Nice. That's pretty good that I have an international team that and they'll go and play obviously across Europe and they won't go play in America because they'll get done in. But yeah. they'll go and play like across Europe and stuff and and other continents. Oh that's that's nice. Um what else is gonna well so, Jess, you want more people to join. Where can we find you? Uh, find us on craigavoncowboys.co.uk. Uh, find us on Facebook, Craigavon Cowboys. We're on Twitter as well. Um, the best way to get in contact would be our Facebook. Just okay. drop us a message. Uh, we'll reply as soon as we can. Um, our website's tons of information. has our history section if you want to find more about that. <clears> um, <throat> has details on all the teams, the, the, the three different teams we have. As well as other ways that you can get involved as a volunteer. You know, you don't have to be on the pitch to be a cowboy. No. That's something else that we stress. You know, a lot of other roles outside of playing football. Just want people to get involved. Yeah. As it seems to be, this is my. I've obviously I've said I've been down to watch the boys play, but I was down like watching training, and there seems to be a really good ethos about the cowboys, which was I noted yeah. on like and um. So if you listen, if you're in our area, Craig Avon. Or my Bambridge, even Yuri, you were mentioning. Yep. Come down, check them out on Sunday afternoon's the big one. What time's the kickoff? Kickoff's two o'clock in Ooh. People's Park, Port of Nine. Uh, it's free and it'll be a great game because we've played them twice this season and they've been quite high scoring affairs. Yep. Um, I think they're over 60 points in both of them, so it'll be, it'll be a good game. And it'll be on sure. the line, like. Yeah. There'll be some big hits too. Yeah, definitely. Because nice. it means so much, there'll be. A lot of people let out. <laughs> come down. Hopefully not me. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully not, Joe. So come down and watch the lads. Uh, Joe, thanks very much for meeting with me. No problem. Uh, hopefully this isn't the, the first or the only one. I'll try to get down. I'll be down on, um, as I said, I'll come down on Sunday, get a bit of reaction maybe from the boys after the game or before the game, whenever we'll talk about it and see what happens. But definitely come down and check the Craig Alvin Cowboys out at People's Park at 2 o'clock. Check out the Facebook page, as Joe said. Get involved, and you don't have to be a player to get involved. Just nope. come and get involved in the family, in the Cowboy family. Yep. Thanks very much, Joe. Appreciate no it. Cheers.